Process mapping helps to ensure improvements are designed to work well within a system. Systems are made up of multiple processes, which often involve lots of different people. Process mapping illustrates how a process works prior to any improvement. It uses specific shapes to represent key elements, such as steps, decisions, inputs and outputs. A process map helps to make things clearer by capturing what, when, where, who and how things happen. This insight helps teams to challenge perceptions of what really happens and make accurate improvement decisions. Initially, a high-level process map allows you to take a bird's eye view, capturing the most vital steps in the process. It also allows you to identify who needs to be involved. A process mapping session aims to pinpoint the actual steps of the process, identifying the bottlenecks, repetition and delays in a process to see what works. A session could be an interactive workshop with plenty of wall space to generate and record lots of information. It could be through a virtual platform which visually documents thoughts and ideas. A facilitator keeps the session on track and records issues, ideas and observations, as well as probing questions to move discussions forwards. The session should illustrate what happens most of the time, not the one-offs. By capturing the sequence of key steps and who undertakes each, you can focus on any part of the process in greater detail. Once the mapping stage is complete, you can start to analyse and identify opportunities for improvement. You can use the Tim Woods model to help you to identify waste in the system, along with any steps that could be removed to improve reliability of the process or reordering of steps. Explore our process mapping course and other improvement courses on our website.